Welcome back to programming number two. With this episode, we are going to have a look at trying to now figure out what our program is going to consist of. And we're going to have a look at what is called the work sets and our actual training program. In the last episode, we had a look at creating our scale and placing ourselves on that scale of our current ability level. Now what we're going to look at is how we can develop our program and our training to increase that ability level. We now know what our 1RM is. We've determined in this example that the red band was our current ability level. We're now going to have a look at trying to find our 5RM. So what could we do five repetitions of? Without going into the details of actual programming and strength programming, we're going to make sure that we're doing something where we could do five repetitions of. And we're going to start off very, very light again and build up all the way through those weights using very small increments again until we can find something that is fairly difficult, not our absolute maximum. Starting from the green band, we can then move up very slowly in one kilogram or even half kilogram increments using the weight belt, moving our way up to the blue belt. So we know that the red is our 1RM. We can use the green to the blue as generally where we're going to be sitting for our fives. So we want to be looking at something that we have to work pretty hard doing fives but we can still do those fives. As you start to progress, so we're starting with the green again and moving up, you want to try to make sure that you are maintaining an absolute perfect quality sets of five pull-ups. As you start getting heavier and the difficulty increases, this is where you need to keep an eye on the quality and you want to make sure that it is not deteriorating at all. If the quality is deteriorating, then you need to stop and you need to say, this is where my work set is going to start. And we're going to determine as the quality starts to decrease, that is where we're stopping, that is where we're setting our level of our current work set. As a demonstration, we are going to now have a go at doing five repetitions. I'm going to start with the green band. So let's get our feet into the band. And remember that we're doing full range of motion, good quality pull ups the whole way. Okay, so from here, I'm going to pull up one, two, three. four, and five. So as an example of reaching your limit, I'm going to change the green band, move that across, and we're gonna to go to the red band. So let's try that. And this time, just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna do the red band and we're going to have a look at doing the five reps. So this is not helping me as much. And I'm going to show you what you want to try to look out for when you're doing them and you know that you've failed. You know that that five it wasn't a good five. So you step back one. So let's pretend from here you do one, come down. You do two, come down. You do three, you come down. Now you're getting fatigued, you get to four, you just get your chin over, then you try again. No, you can't do it. So that's what you kind of want to look out for, where you're not able to get your chin and your chest up to the level that you were for all the others. When you get to that point, you know that one, actually you wanted to step back one. So you've seen a demonstration of doing one where you could do all five, and you've seen a demonstration of where you could do three. The fourth one was okay. The fifth one finished off and it didn't actually get the full range up until the top. 
Ensure that when you are doing this exercise, you are resting enough between each set. You want to make sure that you're going to give the next attempt a really good go and you do not want to be fatigued when you give it a go. So you can have as much rest as you need as long as you still keep warm and as long as you're not allowing your body to cool down again, make sure that you rest.